So as you can see in this video, I'm in the process of printing parts for my 3D printer cabinet. Uh, this is episode two. So a couple things that I did, the rollers for the filament, the feeders that go down to the top of the table, and I'm also installing some LED lights. Remove the odd end shroud. This process will vary by printers of course. Only needs to be taken off if you need to access the fan wires. Step 2. Separate the hot end fan wires. Okay, see that little red thing here? And the wires slip in there and you just clamp this shut and it presses everything together. So with that said, align the wires in the connector, measure the correct position, and then close connectors with pliers. Now, as you can see, I got my clamped wire thingy connector. Right there. Clamp down and it just snaps in place, little tab on it, and then this just runs down. It'll go underneath, so these wires can go right along here, like so. And then this can go right there. So when it's mounted up against the hot end, the light will shine right on the, uh, the parts. So I'll go ahead and explain this part to you. I uh, made these filament rollers. You have to have a set of them for each roll of filament. And it basically removes the filament from being on top of the printer, which gives me flexibility to move the filament to the top of my cabinet. So all you need is 608 ball bearings for skateboard and M3 by 20 millimeter screws. and all you do is put the ball bearings in the little wheels and you tighten the screws to make a functioning filament roller.
Thanks for watching my video. Just want to let you know I'm pretty active on Instagram, Instagram stories, and on Twitter. So if you want to give me a follow on any of those, that'd be great. And of course you can follow me here on YouTube by subscribing. And if you subscribe, there's a little bell next to that and that'll give you notifications of when I upload. If you click on the video that you're seeing right now, that's episode one of my 3D printer series. Check it out.